Hey peaches, what's up? I hope that you guys are having an awesome day so far. I have to tell you guys about my day currently, which is Sunday right now, the day before this video is gonna go up, and I've had an interesting morning. First off, let's just pretend like we don't notice my mic because I couldn't figure out how to make it not so noticeable. I'm sorry. So this morning I finally woke up on time, which for some reason is getting um, harder and harder for me. I don't know why I can't do that anymore. Like I set an alarm and then I sleep past it or I turn it off, go back to sleep, I forget about it, I something, and then I'm never where I'm supposed to be when I'm supposed to be there. So I'm someone who likes to be where they're going like 30 minutes early and to me that's being on time. So lately I've been really frazzled. The past two Sundays have not been super great for me because one Sunday I slept completely past, I kid you not, four alarms and so I had to text um, one of the people that I work at church with and be like, yeah, I'm not going to make it in time, <laughs> sorry. So today was a good day, a good start. I got up on time, I got ready, um, I had a little bit of extra time even and so I got everything in my car and um, I go to start my car and it doesn't start which is not unusual for my car at this point. I really need a new one. But I st try, it doesn't start. I try again, it doesn't start. But I figured out this little trick for my very um, unfortunate car. When I'm going to start it, if it doesn't start, right when I go to turn my car back off, if I tap the gas, it starts. I know, it's too complicated, but it works sometimes. This morning I tried that for my second time and then my car started smoking. So obviously I did not go to church, um, which was very annoying to me because I was like dressed and ready and I had my bag full of like clothes to change into and my laptop to work at stuff, work at stuff, whatever, work on stuff, sure. While I was at Dustin's, like I had everything perfect and I was like, you know what though? I'm not even going to be mad about this because that could have happened when I was on the road on the highway and I could have died. I'm just grateful it happened in my driveway. So I just texted Dustin and I was like, yeah, I'm not going okay, to make it today either. So sorry. Anyways, so I've just been cleaning today a lot and I decided I would go ahead and do my September favorites. I forgot something that I wanted to include in this. I just remembered it. I have to go get it. Hold on. How am I going to do this and not knock anything over is the actual question. And we're back. Anyways, I wish I had like a hundred things to show you guys today, but really I don't have a lot, but I do have a little surprise that we'll get to in a couple minutes. So I'm just gonna randomly pick. I have everything kind of sprawled out on my bed here. So let's go ahead and see what the first thing is. The first thing is what I showed you guys in my last video. These are workout leggings um, and I'm using these that still have the tag on them because the ones I've been wearing like crazy are in the wash machine. But anyways, these are just the leggings that I found at Bargain Hunt. I got these for $6 and it is the brand N NYL. These are amazing and I talked about them a lot in my last video so I don't wanna go over it too much, but I've just been loving those and I've really, really been loving working out and kind of getting my routine back on how to stay a little bit more fit and how to eat a little better and all that kind of stuff. So I've really been enjoying that and I've debated doing kind of like a how I'm working out currently video if that's interesting. The next thing is also a workout apparel thing. This is from Champion. I love this little thing so much. It's just a little lightweight jacket um, if you guys can see, it's like almost mesh all throughout it. And then on the sleeves, it has a little hole for your thumb, which I love jackets like that so much. Um, and this one is thin enough, just like the pants. It's a different brand, but they're pretty similar in texture, make, material. Um, so this doesn't, I don't get too hot when I'm wearing this, this is what I'm trying to say. This is not a hot shirt. Another clothing item, and this is a little bit awkward. But I had to tell you guys about this. So um, I don't know where I want to start on this story. I have been searching for my hair not to be crazy in just one video. I have been searching for a very good bra for a very long time. And I just can never get the fit of a bra right. I'm sorry, I keep messing with my hair. It's on my nerves. Um, but I like, I'm not certain what size I am. I don't know what kind of bra I like. <laughs> There's too many choices. I recently discovered this type of bra and I have gotten um, more than one since I found this one. This is a plunge, did I just spit or no? Nah? This is a plunge bra from Victoria's Secret. Um, I think the little pattern on it is really cute, but the, the, the reason I'm mentioning this 
It's not adjustable, so if that's something that you typically do like, I'll warn you about that. There's no um, strap adjustment or anything in the back. But this is the most comfortable bra I've ever put on in my life because there's no like wiring or tags or like latches, anything in the back. Let's not acknowledge that. And there's no underwire in it. Um, it's lightly lined and there is some sort of support underneath it, but it's not wire, which to me is just like death. So I've really been liking this and like I said, I have this one and I got one more, both from Victoria's Secret and I've really, really liked those lately. I cannot talk today. I didn't mean to do this in order, but everything I'm picking up is like going in order so far. This is the hat I also mentioned in my last video and this is from Urban Outfitters. I got this on sale and I've been loving this so much. Let me put it on and look cute, hold on. Isn't that cute? Maybe I should leave this on. Would that help my hair not be crazy? Anyways, I cannot wait to wear this for fall clothing, like with baseball tees, with little vests, with my bean boots, like all kinds of stuff. I just can't wait to incorporate this in my wardrobe. Is it annoying? I don't know. I have such a weird head. The last thing that I've really been loving, I've had these for a really long time actually, and I had these on in our Tennessee vlog. These are from Vans, but I got them on Tilly's.com, T-I-L-L-Y-S.com. And I got these super, super cheap to be Vans on there. I think I paid like $20 for them because sometimes, I don't know if it's because this is not popular, that's probably why I like it, but they mark some of their shoes down really, really good sometimes. So keep an eye out there. They have Adidas, they have Vans, they have like a whole lot of good ones. Anyways, I had these, they're little cupcakes if you can't tell, and I absolutely love it. They also have a Princess Peach shoe and I just, am, I want it so bad, I want it. I won't eat. But they haven't marked that one down yet, so I'm just waiting. So I just got a couple um, makeup products here. These are Sonia Kashuk, I don't know how to say her last name, brushes from Target. I've been loving these and I got them in a little set from Bargain Hunt actually. Um, and this was a limited edition set, so I don't know if they still have them anywhere, but I've been loving this one because it's so like short and stiff for blending out my concealer underneath my eyes. And then I've been loving the pink one to kind of set everything. Um, and I feel like setting this way for me, I like the way that I set underneath my eyes with a brush like this better than any other way, even like a damn beauty blender. I just feel like that works the best um, consistently. So the other thing I've been liking is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I talked about this in my haul video and said I didn't quite know how to use it, like I was not super impressed with it but I wasn't super impressed with this because it wasn't bright enough for me. So what I ended up doing was getting their new highlighter, which is like a shimmery um, highlighter and doing a couple dots of that over this. So I do that like my normal triangle and then I'll just do a couple dots of this and blend all of that together. I was so impressed the first day I did this with how it ended up looking. I actually could not believe it, it was amazing. So I've really been liking those two together. And like I said, this is new, so get it while you can because I'm sure everybody wants to try it. The next thing I actually got in a Vox box from Influencer and I have not gotten a Vox box in forever. I honestly did not know if I was part of their program anymore. And this is from Max Factor, which I also did not know that they still did anything like makeup or anything like that. But this is the Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Eyeliner. The reason that I like this and I'm mentioning it is because the applicator is different from anything else I've seen, which I feel like today, if you can make something no one else has made before, that's a pretty big accomplishment. So it just looks like this right here and it's actually stiff like it's it has no bend to it or give to it at all actually we will get through this video so that wraps up everything i have for makeup now i just have a couple of miscellaneous objects things not objects that was weird so this first one is the saint ives timeless skin moisturizer i have loved this for so long and i had such a problem finding it and i finally did finally did in Florida and I bought it right up. I've been using this like crazy and I love it so much. This has helped the wrinkles on my forehead like crazy also in addition to drinking my water like I'm supposed to. I have two books. So this, the sticker is still in the front, don't mind that, but this is called the Fit Book. Um, and I'm really excited about this. You get to kind of log everything that you eat, your workouts, 
um, all of your goals and everything like that. So it just looks like this. I got this for a couple bucks at Bargain Hunt as well. And honestly, I'm not sure where else you could buy this because I've just seen the pregnancy one there um, and I've never seen just a fit one. So I was really excited about finding that. We're gonna try this one more time. My mic is cut off a bazillion times now. So this is my life planner. I got this from Family Christian. And I'm gonna try to insert a little sidebar or something of me kind of flipping through it. This is just a great way to really, really organize your day, your life, your plans. And it goes through like monthly and yearly and everything, which I think is an awesome idea. At the very beginning of the planner, it kind of sets out a plan for your whole year, what you want to accomplish. And then at the beginning of each month, it kind of reevaluates where it, where you're at with that plan. This is random, but this is a man's razor. This is the Gillette Fusion razor. And I'm talking about this because you guys know I shave my chin and I've had an excessive amount of like razor bumps, those little things that come up that aren't like red or swollen or anything it's just enough to tell that I shave there so I decided I was gonna go ahead and invest in something really good and this has been fantastic this is a really nice one that's got like a really good handle on it and you just replace the blade but they do have a plastic version too that's super cheap um, well a lot cheaper than this is so I got the plastic ones for my legs and it's been amazing and I use this one on my face every day and I've loved it so if you guys have the same issue as I do and you shave anything on your face get something that's worthwhile last but not least I've been loving to actually put effort in my hair. Um, let me rephrase that. I've loved for my hair to look nice. I don't necessarily like to do my hair. I just kind of let it do its own thing curly or I just blow dry it and make it as straight as I can and just leave it big. But I've really liked this lately. I've had this for a really long time and I just got into using it this past year. This is my Numi wand. This is a 25 millimeter. Is that the right term? And I just boom, boom. It's like the quickest way to curl your hair ever to me, even quicker than the flat iron, and I do that pretty quickly. So I really liked I really like to be able to use this and it has helped in my morning routine kind of go a little bit quicker. So yeah, I really like that. Also I had a couple of you guys ask me how I've been doing my hair, if I would do a tutorial, that kind of thing. Yes, I will do a tutorial. It will be including that wand because that's how I do it. And as a little surprise, I'm gonna be giving you guys one of these. I know this is so random, but I've had two of these just waiting for a giveaway opportunity. And I just figured why not do it just because. So this is just a full black one. So whereas the handle on mine is pink, this one's black, it's the same size and these are amazing. Numi has really good wands. I don't know about the rest of their products. I have one of the flat irons that I wasn't super impressed with, but I really, really like the iron, this one specifically. So I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a tutorial as well, but I am gonna give one of these away too. So if you guys want to enter all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below saying your favorite way to do your hair. Just leave me a comment saying your favorite way to do your hair, your favorite method, if it's curling or braiding or straightening or leaving it natural or whatever it is. I wanna know what you guys like to do with your hair. Oh, I think I'm just gonna have this open for, what's today's date? When this video goes up, it'll be the third. I'll have this open until the 13th. So nothing too extravagant, um, but yeah. Anyways, sorry I've been so frazzled. This day is like really trying to beat me down. Got up on time and then my car wouldn't start. I'm trying to record and my mic won't work. What was that? What is that noise? Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video even though it kind of sucked a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean all of this stuff up now and export all of this and hopefully it sounds semi okay. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do with my mic exactly. I'm still learning like what, how the best way to upload that that file is. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll have all the details of this giveaway in the down bar. How about that? That sounds like I'll have my life according to how it's supposed to be. Thank you guys so much for watching my September favorites and I'll see you on Friday with a new video. Bye.